A hairstylist specializes in men's haircuts. The times for haircuts are normally distributed with a mean of 23 minutes, standard deviation of 3 minutes. The stylist is trying to optimize the schedule of appointment times to do more haircuts in one day and make more money. Typically, eight haircuts are performed in a four-hour time period using 30-minute intervals between appointment times. But can nine or even ten customers be scheduled without running behind by more than a few minutes? Let's consider random samples of ten haircuts and find the distribution of the sums of times. This would be a joint distribution. We will declare a random variable s, the sum, as being the sum of 10 x's, 10 randomly selected times. Recall we add the means together 10 times, which is equivalent to multiplying the mean by 10, and to get the standard deviation, we take the square root of the sum of the 10 variances. This is equivalent to taking the square root of 10 times one variance. Here then is the distribution of 10 times. What's the probability that the sum exceeds four hours, which is 240 minutes? Showing the work like we do for probability involving a normal distribution and then using a calculator to the table reveals a probability of 0.146, roughly 15% would exceed 4 hours. So 85% of the time the hairstylist would not exceed 4 hours. Incidentally, a wise schedule would be 4 25-minute haircut sessions with a 20-minute session nestled in between. This would accommodate 5 customers every 2 hours instead of 4 customers per 2 hours and that would increase the revenue by 25%, no small re realization. Things to know regarding sums of random variables that are normally distributed. Sums will be normally distributed as long as samples are random and thus behave according to random chance. The mean of the sums will equal the sample size n times the mean of the random variable values, and in our case, the sum of 10 times was 10 times 23 minutes. The variance will be n times the variance of the random variable, in our case, 10 times 9 minutes, and the standard deviation will be the square root of n times the standard deviation, in our case, 9.487 minutes. It's extremely beneficial to wrap our brains around this. In the next video, we'll move to the foundational idea behind inferential statistics involving means.